G'day, I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv. You're probably already aware of my training videos, uh, both free and commercial. If not, I would encourage you to have a look at LearnDelphi.tv and see what's on offer. If you are the kind of person who invests a bit of money and time into bettering themselves in their craft, and we are of course talking about programming in Delphi, then you will probably be interested in Nick Hodge's new book, Coding in Delphi. So I have a little bit of a confession to make uh, in that I finished reading this book ages ago. Um, uh, I got an advanced copy being a uh, MVP, um, it's an electronic version, and I read that uh, on my iPad. Now, if I'll just um, quickly fire this up and go through some of the uh, chapter headings so you get an idea of uh, what's in the book. Um, so. Uh, exceptions and exception handling, uh, using interfaces, understanding generics, understanding anonymous methods, uh, Delphi collections, enumerators in Delphi, and I enumerable. So it, it being able to iterate over um, various things. Uh, runtime type information, attributes using T virtual interface, uh, introduction to dependency injection, and a deeper look at, into dependency injection so using the Spring framework. Uh, unit testing, so uh, D-unit and what have you, um, testing with an isolation framework, and various other bits and pieces of appendices and what have you. So that's, that's kind of roughly, roughly give you an idea of what's in the book. So you can probably tell by the uh, chip headings that this is not an introductory book into Delphi. Uh, in fact, you'll need to know uh, a fair amount about programming Delphi and object-oriented programming in general. Um, to be able to follow the book. If you're new to Delphi, I would recommend uh, my training videos, both the free ones and particularly the commercial ones. Um, if you're tackling a large uh, VCL legacy application, then my VCL videos are quite useful, and also the T-Client data set in XML uh, are, will, you will uh, find of benefit. Uh, in terms of books, uh, Mark Akentu has a number of excellent books, um, so I'd grab his Delphi uh, Mastering Delphi 7 or 2005 book, and then follow that up with his handbooks on various editions of Delphi, but they kind of build on each other. Um, it's kind of the, the new stuff in each version of Delphi. Um, so that can be a bit, um, a bit confusing in many ways. Uh, also, I recommend um, Delphi uh, XC2 Foundations by uh, Chris Wollaston, a very excellent book which covers uh, a lot of basic material plus. Um, goes on to a lot, of, a lot more advanced topics. Um, and I've almost finished it. Uh, I will eventually get around to reading the last few chapters and do a review. So uh, that's what I'd recommend uh, if you're getting started with Delphi. I should also point out that this book is not about building user interfaces, such as using the VCL or FireMonkey, or building mobile apps or anything like that. It is uh, sort of platform agnostic. Uh, it is about uh, the code. The title of the book is Coding in Delphi um, After All. In fact, the book is uh, concerned mostly with new language features that have been added to Delphi since um, about Delphi 2007. So uh, anonymous methods and generics and the, the kinds of um, ways that those new features should change the way you program. Uh, if you haven't changed the way you've, you're, you're programming in Delphi and you're running a, a fairly uh, recent version, such as the new Delphi XC6, uh, then you probably want to take a look at some of the topics in this book, um, including uh, dependency injection and unit testing. Um, if you've got uh, some aspect of your program that you change over here and something over here breaks, uh, you don't see the relationship, you've got some sort of hidden dependency uh, you, which you don't want, um, dependency injection techniques will help you with that, and in particular, um, the Spring Framework, for instance, uh, will allow you um, sort of a, a, a set way of um, breaking the dependencies in your application. So I work with um, large legacy apps uh, that um, the code is somewhat convoluted um, and we're sort of working towards improving that, but um, it's, <laughs> it's a very long and slow process. So also covered um, unit testing. Uh, it's, it's a good idea to have lots of unit tests. Um, it, it's quite easy to do if you're 
writing application from, from scratch. Uh, if you've got a large legacy application, then you probably want to read um, Michael Feather's book, um, uh, Working with Legacy Code. So, just to summarize, if you're running a copy of Delphi later than Delphi XE-ish, um, and you're still programming it the way you did in Delphi 2007 or Delphi 7 or Delphi 3, then you probably want to grab a copy of this book and learn some of the new uh, techniques that are available to you. I, um, I can't recommend this book uh, strong enough. I think uh, it's excellent. Um, I, I highly recommend you get it from Amazon or go to nickhodges.com and find out how to get the electronic version. If you're running, uh, if you've purchased a copy of Delphi XE5 or uh, on have a um, software maintenance, software assurance, uh, you might be entitled to a free copy. Check your um, Embarcadero Developer Network account and uh, it may be available there. So just one final word, I was at uh, the Australian Delphi User Group Symposium uh, earlier this year, 2014, um, and Nick Hodges was a speaker there, he took, talked, uh, had two talks out of four, and I picked up ADUG's last copy of uh, Coding in Delphi. Uh, I arrived early, so I, I managed to get it, so thanks Lachlan. Um, and of course I managed to get Nick to sign it. Uh, to Alistair, thanks for all you do for the Delphi community, Nick Hodges, ADAG 2014. So I feel I should reciprocate, uh, so thank you Nick Hodges, um, your efforts are well appreciated. Uh, I, I realise a lot of effort went into this book, uh, I put a lot of effort into my training videos, uh, not so much the free ones, they're pretty um, uh, pretty roughly produced, but still take a long, long time to produce each one. Um, the commercial ones uh, have uh, spent a lot, lot more time, a lot more takes, a lot more rehearsals, um, and a lot, lot better edited. So, um, yes, so thank you uh, for, for your book. Um, I hope to see many more blog posts and what have you um, in the future, and I'll, I will endeavour to make more free videos and perhaps some more commercial ones. I'm, I'm thinking about uh, even possibly writing a book myself if I get the time, which I'm not likely to have. So, anyway. So, um, I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv. Uh, I hope this review was helpful, and I hope I've encouraged you to buy a copy of Nick's book.